Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. As you have already read the title, today we are going to be dealing with the kitchen. If you guys have watched the previous home tour video, you must have seen how messy the kitchen is with a ton of dirty dishes and stuff all over the counter. So I decided to deal with the kitchen first since it is the most important part of our home. Well, there is a lot of stuff to deal with and since it's winter and we have very few daylight hours, I'm going to try and finish as much as I can and if I don't then I'll continue the following day. Uh, although we all share the groceries and we cook together, we all have our separate cabinetries with our cooking pots and like this cabinetry here is where I keep my cooking stuff but at the moment it has everything that is brought from India. On the right hand side the cabinet belongs to another flatmate and on this side yet another flatmate. Well uh, here under the sink we keep all the cleaning supplies, garbage bags and things that we don't use very often. Uh, this cabinet belongs to a flatmate who's a vegetarian and prefers to keep her things separate and we respect that. So you see guys, we have a lot of cabinetries to deal with, a lot of storage space after all. Um, but here in the first drawer we keep all the cutlery, in the second drawer all the clips and here in the last drawer we have all the extra stock. Now to begin I first decided to clear the sink that had all the dirty dishes so that I can put them away once they are all dried up and in this way uh, this would kind of clear up this area of the kitchen. Next I decided to work on clearing the counter. I wanted to free up the counter space by putting away everything behind the cabinet doors. So uh, I've left this basket here with all the cooking oils and vinegar for easy access while cooking. wash the spatula holder and put back only the required spatulas that we use for everyday cooking. Next I wipe down the kitchen hob. Well always remember guys to switch off the electronic devices before you start cleaning them. Since uh, there were a few tough stains, I made use of some dishwashing liquid in order to get rid of all the grime and the stains. Next I unplug the blenders and the microwave and wipe them down. I know guys sometimes we are in a hurry or are just too lazy to clean our kitchen devices after use but I think it's so much more easier to maintain them if you could just spend a few minutes to give them a quick wipe down and when you need to use them next they are all clean and tidy. If it's still difficult for you to put in those extra few minutes wiping them down after use then try and clean your devices at least once a week so in this way your devices will remain nice and clean and free from all those tough stains and grime. Now that we are done with this side of the counter, next I uh, started wiping down all the uh, dishes that I had been washed so that I could put them back into their place and also uh, there were a few more uh, new dirty dishes that were added to the sink so I did decided to clean them as well. Mm -hmm. 
next I use a little dish soap and some hot water to clean the sink always remember guys to start with the sides of the sink and work your way down pushing all that grime down the drain repeat the process if needed until the surface is come free Well, I know guys, a lot of you feel quite overwhelmed when it comes to cleaning your kitchen or cleaning your bathroom or cleaning any part of your home. Well, I would say guys, always take a proactive approach. Make a list of the specific tasks that you need to complete that would give you like the best sense of accomplishment or like make the biggest impact. Uh, what I like to do is make a to-do list and uh, you know just refer back to it when you feel overwhelmed and just see what you have completed and if you have not then you can just start on from there also what I would suggest is and what I always do is um, listening to some music that you know kind of like motivates you that inspires you and um, you could just always create your own playlist of your favorite songs and then I'm sure that's definitely gonna help sometimes you know guys it's you know you just uh, if your um, your brain kind of like needs that a uh, little distraction to get into the cleaning groove So as you noticed, I just washed the wire racks that had a lot of oil and grime on them. And now moving on to the first cabinet in which I'm going to keep all our coffee mugs and dinner plates and some serving bowls. Also guys, please excuse my outfit for the day as I'm in my most comfortable baggy homewear shorts. Although I was all pumped up to clean the kitchen. This is just one of those days that I'm extremely bored to get changed or kind of dressed up. Okay, so this cabinet here had a lot of stuff that we were not even aware of that we had in stock. Well, in the beginning guys, I did not know what exactly I wanted to keep in this cabinet. But then I came up with this idea, why not make this that kind of like a breakfast come snack cabinet that, you know, would be kind of give that easy access to all the snacks and the breakfast meals or the quick ready to cook meals. So um, I think that was, you know, the best decision. It's so much more convenient now. We moved up cattle below this cabinet and in the mornings when we need some of that hot coffee, all we need to do is just grab a coffee mug and all that we need is right in this cabinet here, making it so much more convenient and, you know, quick and easy accessible. Okay, moving on to this cabinet on the opposite side. Well, again, guys, I did not know as to what I wanted to keep in here. So all that I did was emptied it completely and placed everything on the counter. So then I could once for all decide what I would like to keep here. Now 
now about this cabinet here i was pretty sure as to what i wanted to keep in here since this cabinet is right beside the kitchen hob i wanted to keep here all the masalas and the spices and the essential cooking requirements like sugar and salt now i empty everything out and give this uh, cabinet a nice thorough wipe down so you see here the whole counter is with everything from just these two cabinets and i think that's quite a lot right now it was quite overwhelming to deal with so much stuff so i started segregating everything changed a few containers for the masalas and the pulses and yeah that worked really well actually i kind of figured out what i wanted to keep where in which cabinet last drawer here is pretty nice and deep and works as a perfect storage to keep all the extra stock of masalas and spices that we have which i think works out really well how the years go by searching for the moments on a little less 25 A little less twenty-five. A little less, little less. Searching for the moments I'm a little less twenty. A little less twenty-five. Oh, look how beautiful this cabinet looks, guys! And right above the kitchen hood, or in other words, the chimney, I kept all these containers with the different pulses. In this drawer over here I kept the two most important ingredients used in our Indian curries one that gives that sharp tanginess and that is the tamarind and the other which is more mellow almost floral tart taste which is commonly used in goan curries known as kokum and I've also kept these beautiful Indian spice boxes or the masala dabba as it is commonly known as and i think this is the perfect place very easily accessible while cooking those indian dishes and now after putting everything away time to wipe down the entire counter Okay so the tip for the day so we kind of had a small accident in the morning wherein the pressure cooker remained unattended and by the time one of us got back into the kitchen it was uh too late so the bottom of the cooker was pretty burned and this is something that my mom usually does is putting a, a little water with about 2 to 3 tablespoons of vinegar I would say the more concentrated the better and boil the solution for uh some time and um you know let it rest for a while and then maybe in in some time you could just you know use your steel scrubber and clean it up and you will get your nice shiny clean vessel Moving on to the cabinets below the counter. This first one here belongs to my flatmate who's a vegetarian and like I said earlier, she prefers to keep her things separate and we completely respect that.
and then in this cabinet here I kept all the electrical appliances that we don't use quite often. Searching for the moments I'm a little less 25 A little less 25 A little less, little less And then this cabinet on the opposite side that belongs to another flatmate and has some of the pots and pans that we use for our everyday cooking. And in these two cabinets here, the one on the right, I kept some more pots and pans that belong to me and yet another flatmate. And the one on the left, uh, I kept all the uh, food containers that we use for storing our food. And finally, in this last cabinet here under the sink, guys, is where I kept all the cleaning supplies and the things that were provided by the accommodation that we don't prefer using. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope this video gave you a ton of motivation. And if you're living in a shared accommodation just like me and also are looking up to cleaning your kitchen, then I hope this video helps. Well, thank you for stopping by and see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye, stay safe and take care.